Anthony Smith has had some really weird interactions in the media and in the news with Alex Pereira in regards to Alex Pereira. Really weird stuff. And if Anthony Smith has said that if Alex Pereira wins tonight at UFC 295, that he hopes that Alex Pereira calls him out in the the post-fight press conference, or post-fight interview, rather. Really, really weird thing for him to say, considering he is not a star or a top-ranked light heavyweight. I believe he's ranked number eight right now. So he's in the top 10, but he's not really on, doesn't really have any momentum or a ton of star power. So really, really weird take from Anthony Smith. Seems a little thirsty to me, a little uh, slightly pathetic. And I want to get into this, guys. That's what today's video is going to be about. This all stemmed from a couple of months ago when Alex Pereira moved up to light heavyweight and fought Jan Blachowicz, where Anthony Smith did an interview and said that he, you know, he was pre uh, impressed, but not that impressed because Alex Pereira isn't a big, scary guy at light heavyweight. He says that he's just kind of an average size light heavyweight, and he compares him to Alexander Rakage. He says, put that dude next to Alexander Rakage, and Rakage will make him look tiny. He's just a regular size 200 and fiver. I found this really interesting because you look at you look at both of those guys, Pereira and Rakic, both fought Jan Blachowicz. When you look at them next to Jan, they're both about two to three inches taller than Jan. And I would guess that if Rakic and Alex Pereira faced off, Rakic might be maybe an inch taller, maybe. I think Pereira is a little bit taller than 6'4". And Rakic is listed at 6'5". I would guess they both weigh right around 230 pounds. So I just don't... I think he's reaching here with this. I, I don't think Pereira is that much smaller than Rakic. It's not like Rakic is like 6'8", or 6'7", like Alexander Volkov. You know, he's a big guy, Alexander Rakic, but so is Pereira. And I, I just it just feels really weird that Anthony Smith's trying to play this down. But this was a couple months ago. Alex Pereira responded and basically said... Why are you talking about me? You know, you should focus on yourself. You should focus on your fights. You know, Alex Pereira basically says he's just trying to keep himself relevant and stay in the media, you know, stay in the news, the headlines for talking, basically for talking shit about other fighters. Alex Pereira says, I always see Smith talking about me. I don't know what he has against me. He relishes bashing other athletes because he has no clue what they go through. And then he goes on to say he has to give his two cents because he loves being in the spotlight. No one talks about him, so he spouts off nonsense to get some screen time. So, yeah, Pereira basically just calls it out. What Smith said wasn't really too damning. It wasn't really mean. It does seem to be kind of kind of reachy, in my opinion. But then, you know, and this was the end of this up until here recently, when Anthony Smith starts saying that he's hopeful that Alex Pereira is going to call him out in Alex Pereira's post-fight interview, given that he, you know, assuming that Alex Pereira is going to win the title tonight at UFC 295. And it just this just seems so... This just annoyed the shit out of me, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, why are you... Why are you so thirsty, man? Like, I, I used to be a big fan of Anthony Smith. I like the guy. I like that he's from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. Like, I felt like he used to be so relatable, Anthony Smith, when he was on his rise. And then it's like ever since he fought John Jones, he's just been so fucking delusional. Like saying that John Jones isn't very good, you know, trying to downplay John Jones, and then now he's now he's downplaying Alex Pereira. You know, like he's saying that Alex Pereira looked good against Jan, but he's not a big scary guy, and he should have to fight someone like Alexander Rakage because Rakage is big. What does that? How does that make any sense? Jan just beat Rakage. Now, I know it was a, a doctor stoppage, but it was still one-to-one -one going into third, and Jan got the win. And then Pereira went on to beat Jan. So why is now Alex Pereira going to fight Alexander Rakage? That just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Um, it, this, this just seems like the whole thing just seems like Anthony Smith is just no one's talking about him. He's not the center of attention. The division has definitely left him in the dust. He's not relevant. And he's just trying to get, you know, whatever little whatever little thing he can get in the media. Now, I know he needs to be promoting himself. I know that Anthony Smith needs to keep his name out there, needs to stay relevant. But but do that through fighting, buddy. Like, why don't you go out there and get a really good win over against, like, Nikita Krylov, like someone ranked above you, you know, and, and then start saying this shit. But it just seems so pathetic to me to be, to be you know, getting a, getting a, 
crazy close, scraping by, split decision win over Ryan Spann. And and then now we're going to talk shit about Alex Pereira, who's fighting for the belt. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm a big fan of fighters promoting themselves and starting up a little bit of shit talking and everything, you know, and keeping things fun and, and exciting. But this to me isn't fun or exciting. It's like, no one cares about this fight. People don't want to see Alex Pereira fight Anthony Smith especially now on Anthony Smith's career when he's on the tail end of his career. And it, it just, I don't know. I hated this. I hate it. I hate it reading this line and reading this article. You know, Anthony Smith's hopeful that Alex Pereira calls him out. Why would he call you out? You're not a money fight. You're not a big name. You're not a top ranked light heavyweight. You're not on momentum. You have nothing going for you. Uh, you know, except a, a case of, he's got to be one of the most delusional fighters in, in UFC history, Anthony Smith. Everything, you know, if everything was on paper, Anthony Smith would be the GOAT, you know, if it was all on paper. So that's all I'm going to say, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, consider liking and subscribing as I have a bunch of MMA content coming at you guys every week. Take it easy, y'all, and I will see you in the next one.